Hello everyone, and welcome to Brain Bank. My name is Melanie, and I'm going to be your teacher for books 1 through 10, and we will be learning about science in these books. And then, in books 11 through 20, you'll be learning with another fun teacher, and his name is Elias. So, are you ready to get started? Great! I am too. So today we're going to read a book called Weather Words. Weather Words. So we are going to learn about different types of weather. And this book is by Amy LG. Okay, now what do we see on the cover of this book? That's right, we see a little boy and he is standing in the rain. And what is he holding? What is this big yellow thing above his head? That's right. He is holding an umbrella. He's holding an umbrella. Does anyone know how we spell that word? Let's try it. U M B R E L, L, there's two L's, and A, umbrella. And he looks like he doesn't mind getting wet even though he has an umbrella because he's reaching his hand out to catch the rain. So let's read this story. It looks fun, right? So on the first page, weather words. Can you read with me? Weather words. We will learn words about the weather. So what do we see here? We see two girls, and it looks like they are roller skating, and they look like they're having a good time, I would say. Now, how's the weather in this picture? How's the weather here? Yes, the weather looks very nice. It looks sunny and there's a rainbow in the sky. So maybe we just finished a storm because there's a beautiful rainbow in the sky. So I would say that this weather looks very nice. Okay, now what about this weather? This weather, let's see, we have some kids and they have, what are these called? Does anyone know? Yes, those are called kites. Very good, these are kites. And we fly kites in this kind of weather. Does anyone know? Ah, yes, it is windy. Can you repeat after me? It is windy. Good job. Kids can fly kites when the weather is windy. And when it's windy, there is lots of air blowing around. So they look like they're having a good time with their kites. Okay, so now we have another picture and another kind of weather. What kind of weather is this? Is this windy? No. What is falling from the sky? What are these? Yes, I heard someone say, snow or snowflakes. So the little girl is catching the snow on her tongue. Very good. So this weather, it is snowy. Can you say it with me? It is snowy. Very good. Now, when do we have snowy weather? Do we have snowy weather in the summer? No. We have snowy weather in the winter. In the winter, good job. Okay, so now we have some other weather. What is happening here? What is the weather like in this picture? We have a little boy and he's holding, remember the cover of the book? He's holding an umbrella. And what is coming from the sky? What is that picture? Yes, rain. It is rainy. Can you say it with me? It is rainy. Very good. 
And this little boy doesn't look too happy that it's raining, but hopefully it will stop soon. So next, hmm, this is interesting. Does anyone know what kind of weather this is? Is it snowing? Do we see snow falling? No, I don't see snow falling. It looks like it already snowed. So when the trees look white like this, we can say, it is frosty. It is frosty. Yes, this is called frost. And basically, when it snows and it sticks to the trees and freezes on the trees, we can call that frost. Very good. Oh, this looks much warmer. Looks like these two girls are on a beach and they are wearing, what are they wearing? And their teddy bear's wearing some too. That's very cute. Yes, they are wearing, we call them sunglasses. Sunglasses. And when do we wear sunglasses? When it's cloudy? No, what is this? Yes, the sun. It is sunny. Can we say it all together? It is sunny. Good job. And they look happy to be in the sun. Oh, okay, here's another kind of weather. Does anyone know what this is in the sky? This little boy looks really happy, like he's reaching out to touch these in the sky. What, what are these called? Yes, they're called clouds. So we can say, it is cloudy. It is cloudy. Now, does it look like it's going to rain? Eh, probably not. The clouds are very light and they're white colored. Usually when it's going to rain, the clouds get very dark. So this is a nice cloudy day, I would say. Okay, so now we have a week of weather. This is what we would call a weather forecast. A weather forecast. A forecast tells us what the weather is going to be like on a certain day. So here we have the next week and it tells us what the weather is going to be like in the morning. So all of the top ones show the weather in the morning and all the bottom ones show the weather in the afternoon. Okay, so let's see if we can read some of these. Do you remember what this symbol is? Yes, so I see a cloud and falling from the cloud, that looks like rain. Let's see, we have right here just the cloud by itself, so we can say cloudy. We have the sun, so sunny. We have the snowflake, so snowy. We have, do you remember this one? This one was a hard one. Yes, I heard someone say frosty frosty and one more this one something that comes from the sky yes windy the air that blows it's very windy we can fly kites in that weather so if I wanted to go on a picnic in the afternoon which day should I go I want it to be good weather for my picnic I want to eat my lunch outside so, should I go on Thursday? Would a picnic be good on Thursday? Oh no, in the afternoon on Thursday, it's going to snow. I shouldn't go on my picnic then. When should I go on my picnic? I want sunny weather. So when should I go? Ah, here's sun in the afternoon. What day is this? Wednesday, I could go on my picnic on Wednesday. Or, let's see, <gasps> Friday is also going to be sunny weather in the afternoon. And, oh, one more day, 
Saturday. I could also go on Saturday. So if I want to have a picnic, I should go Wednesday, Friday, or Saturday because I like sunny weather. So that's all we have for today. I hope you've enjoyed the lesson, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.